So I was watching this new video by Gen C. He's an up and coming YouTuber and the video was how to dress casual like James Bond. Three ways Daniel Craig mastered the look. Now it was a solid video. His points were good, but I felt he could have gone into even more detail because let's face it, James Bond, especially when it comes to his casual style, this guy knows how to put an outfit together. Now me personally, I'm a light James Bond fan, meaning I've watched the movies. I haven't read the books, but I did own a custom clothier. I've designed thousands of wardrobes and I do think that I can go back to some of these movies and pick out some casual looks that I know you can steal inspiration from. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, the reason that James Bond looks good in casual clothing is because he's got a killer body. True, Daniel Craig has an excellent physique. He also has excellent taste in women with Rachel Wise. But seriously, gents, if you go back and watch the older movies, you'd be surprised at the average bodies that most of the older James Bonds had. Now, none of them were heavy set or skinny, but these guys didn't have the body of Adonis and they would make up for that by wearing clothing that complemented their natural build. So with that being said, let's get into it. The James Bond casual style rules. James Bond casual style rule number one, know the name of your tailor. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this point, but it's safe to say that every single piece of clothing we see Daniel Craig or any other version of James Bond wearing in a movie, this has been adjusted to fit their body. For a lot of guys, the only time that they ever use the services of a tailor or when they get it for free, if they're buying a suit that they have to wear for a wedding. Gents, if you want to look like James Bond, you got to start thinking like James Bond. All of his clothing is adjusted to fit him better. Now, of course, his suits are adjusted, but that polo shirt, those jeans, those trousers, and you better believe those sports jackets have all been slightly adjusted to fit him perfectly. Maybe it's the hemming of the trousers, getting rid of a little bit of excess material around the arms on those polos. And I know some of you guys are saying, well, just hit the gym. Well, in the meantime, get the clothing that you have to fit your body now and make sure when you buy something off the rack, it fits you to as close as perfect as possible. And gents, if you're looking for a simple way to step up your grooming, improve your style without really having to do anything to your routine, except add one step to when you brush your hair, Gents, you need to check out Lifen and their line of hair dryers. Seriously, I've got two of these things and they are the best hair dryers I have ever owned in my life. Gents, when you are brushing and styling your hair by using a hair dryer, by using heat to mold the shape and style of your hair, guys, it's going to transform the way you can style your hair. And for those of you guys in your 30s, 40s, 50s with thinning hair, if you want your hair to look more full, gents, having a tool like the Life and Swift hair dryer is going to make it so much easier to get the look that you're going for with your hair. Which, by the way, they've got some great options for you. They've got the SC, they've got the Swift Premium, they've got the Classic Swift, and they've got the Swift Special. But what all of them do, gents, is they dry your hair quickly. Because they're using a stronger engine that's pushing the air faster, it's going to dry your hair five times faster. Now, every life comes with different heat settings. You're going to have the cool, you're going to have medium, you're going to have hot, and all of them come with heat damage protection. So, the temperature of the hair dryer never goes to a point that it could actually damage your hair, which is important to know and one of the reasons you don't want to use those cheaper hair dryers. And my favorite thing about life is a guy with five kids and a baby in the house is that they are incredibly quiet. Seriously, when I'm getting ready in the morning, when my daughters are getting ready in the morning and using this hair dryer, nobody hears them outside of the bathroom. Gents, I'm linking the Life and down in the description of today's video with the best deal on the web. The Life and Swift makes a great gift for Valentine's Day or for any occasion. This is the perfect high value gift for someone who loves styling their hair. Go over to Life and check them out. Awesome company, proud to support them. Rule number two when it comes to James Bond and casual style, he pays attention to the fabric quality. So let's go to the movie Casino Royale. Let's talk about that Sunspell Riviera polo shirt that he wears. Now, the average person may look at this shirt and say, oh, that's a nice polo. They're going to go maybe to Old Navy here in the United States and buy a very cheap cotton polo in the same color and wear it maybe wash it, wear it again, and then wonder why in the world does this look so bad? Why don't I look like James Bond in that movie? Well, gents, it comes down to construction. It comes down to the material used. There's a difference between cotton that maybe comes from West Texas. Hey, I grew up there, but the cotton in general, the strands aren't super long versus Supima cottons, which are going to have strands that are five to 10 times longer. Why does this matter? Because whenever they spin it into yarns, those yarns are going to be stronger. They're going to be more durable. They're going to be more likely to retain their shape. In this 
addition to the material, let's talk about construction. Did they actually make the shirt in a way that they use threads? They're going to be able to deal with heat, with shrinkage whenever you put it into the wash. And speaking of wash, when you buy higher quality clothing, all of a sudden you start to realize that running things through the wash is like taking a life away from that garment. So, you do some spot cleaning. You say, you know what? Can I maybe wash this on delicate and let it hang dry versus running it through the dryer, which all that lint in the dryer, where do you think it's coming from? It's actually tearing it right off the clothing. And to be blunt, most dryers are destroying your quality clothing. So, let it hang dry if you can. Rule number three for James Bond. He loves a subdued color palette. Great Tom Ford suits, a navy pea coat, a John Varvatos racer jacket in black. Again, across the movies, when we look at his casual wardrobe, we're going to see earth tones again and again. This is because they're versatile, they're easy to mix and match, and they're timeless in their overall feel. That's why whenever you watch one of these movies 10 years later, they don't actually feel that dated. Now, this next style rule is great for your budget because you can spend good money on some of these pieces and not have to worry about them going out of style because most of the items in James Bond's casual wardrobe are classic, timeless pieces that will be around for decades. So, in the movie Quantum of Solace. We see that Harrington jacket by Tom Ford. That's timeless. Harrington's have been around for decades. The same thing in Spectre, that matchless suede blouse and jacket. The lighter color in the suede make it a bit flashy, but that blouse and style, that's been around since the 1940s and 50s. The classic Henley long sleeve t shirt that he's wearing in No Time to Die. Henley's have been around for over a hundred years. And gents, I'm not even getting into his casual suits, the sports jackets, the overcoats that he's wearing, which I know for a lot of you guys is not casual, though technically it is. And if you could figure out a way to start wearing casual suits, I tell you, you would stand out from the crowd, you would feel and look amazing, and you would get compliments like no other. My point is, he's not really wearing anything new. He's wearing timeless items that a lot of guys don't even have the courage to wear, but when you wear them, they're made to enhance your natural build and man, they can make you look good and stand out from the crowd. Now, this next detail is probably one that you didn't notice. So, when you see Bond wearing these boots right here, do you notice what brand? When you see him wearing this jacket right here, do you notice what type of jacket it is? Again, let's look at shoes. Do you have any idea who makes these shoes right here? Okay, so I know some of you huge James Bond fans, you guys knew all the brands. In fact, I will bring them up right here. Danner Mountain Light 2 boots. You've got the Barber Beacon sports jacket and you got Church's Rider 3 boots. But for the majority of people, they didn't see some big logos on this. And that's what James Bond does really well. He doesn't sport logos. He keeps things really muted, really simple, timeless. You don't need to wear a big logo to look good in your casual clothing. And speaking of those boots, let's talk about this next point, functional elegance. So, a lot of people, they see higher end, high priced items and they think, oh, they're just overcharging. Well, yes, that happens sometimes, but not always. You've still got brands out there that make a very high quality item that's going to last you a lifetime and does an exceptional job of what it was designed to do. Two brands I just mentioned, Barber when it comes to jackets, Danner when it comes to boots, both of them still at the top of their trade when it comes to making an item that is functional and gets the job done. Let's talk about that navy ribbed army sweater that he wears in No Time to Die. Now, in the Marine Corps, we had our wooly pulley, but I have to say that this one just looks like it's easier to match, a lot more versatile in the color, and that shoulder design is so on point. To anyone that's not familiar with military sweaters, most of them have that fabric right on there because it's made just to make the sweater more durable when you layer it under jackets. Which takes me to my next point, James Bond is an expert when it comes to layering. Now, obviously, you're probably not going to do much layering when it's hot, but in the cool, when it comes to casual weather, this is when all of a sudden you're going to bring in a variety of colors. I purposely have a little bit of fun with my outfit today. I've got the olive green, a little bit of a military heritage right here in a safari style jacket. Right here, I've got a sweater, my insulating layer, and then I've got, you know, a navy polo at the base. Point being is layering is an art. And when it comes to casual clothing, you can really step things up. Notice how it's not only the color variation, but you've got a sheen on this material right here. You've got the wool, you've got a very soft napped weave, and then you've got another sheen type of material right here. Combinations like that give complex feels, looks, and it just creates an overall cultured and sophisticated type of feel. Now, this next rule, probably one of the most important ones on this list and so many guys mess it up, but appropriateness for the occasion. Here's the thing, gents. Casual doesn't mean sloppy and there are different levels of casual. There is going to be, hey, going to the beach, then there's a wedding at the beach. There are certain ways you dress for a company party when you work at Google, certain ways you dress for a company party when you work at Goldman Sachs. In both those situations, they could say casual to business casual, but understand one of them is going to be a lot more conservative and going to expect that you look the part of 
the person that, yeah, they expect you to be. I know these unspoken dress codes can make things confusing, but understand gents, there is always a dress code. Otherwise you could walk around naked, right? All right, gents. So if you like James Bond, you are going to love this video. Boom, right here. Yeah. Go check it out. A solid video. Come on, James Bond. Yeah. You're going to love this one. Come on, click it right here. Who? Yeah. I, come on. I don't want to ruin it for you. Click the video. It's solid. Boom, right there.